Millions dream of fame, success and a life in the spotlight. But few realise what it takes to make it to the top. That's why we're back for oh, three 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 We're back Good morning, everybody. for Series 3, inside one of the most famous stage schools in Britain. London's Italia Conti Academy of Theatre Arts. Where for some pupils, dreams of a career on screen and stage really can come true. This is what life is like for those seeking the big time. This is the School for Stars. Previously on School for Stars, Max finally started to choreograph his exam routine. I feel like a, an old man doing it. But is it too little too late as he comes face to face with Miss Wilkins? I don't want you to fail. No. No, you will if you get rubbish like that. After Tilly's stint in Billy Elliot, she's failed to get any castings. Is the pressure all getting too much for her? It's gotten to the point that I'm crying and I never really cry. And how will Tommy cope when he's given the lead in a special routine with the older students? I don't even know what I'm doing. All eyes are on the youngest member of this elite crew. I can't bang jump. And he can't let them down. The school has a triple threat policy, which means every pupil has to sing, dance and act. <laughs> The school's launched the career of many famous actors, from Patsy Kensett to Russell Brand. And one pupil who wants to follow in their footsteps is Celestine. She's in year seven and has only been at the school for two terms, but is already fitting in well. I can fit in here, like, because we're all doing the same things and we're all different. And it's, like, a nice different. A castle. I like acting the most. I love to act. Where are we going? Oh, no. But it isn't all smooth sailing for Celestine. Actors have to learn scripts off by heart and quickly. I find it hard to learn scripts because I have severe dyslexia. I find it hard to remember the words. And acting alongside others is even harder. Thank you. I want you to take this script and then we're going to work really fast on this script. We're going to give you a big challenge. I find dyslexia, uh, dyslexia affects when I work in groups because I can't understand the word and it really irritates me. I cannot say that word. And I feel like I've ruined everyone else's performance, so I have to really try and learn the script. I'm also challenging you with the idea that we will learn these scripts very quickly and can perform these for next week. It's a bit harder with dyslexia, but you still have to work the same as everyone else. The Iceland is the Icelandic is stronger. I think it's a good skill as an actor to be able to pick up a script and learn it quite quickly, which is going to be a challenge for Celestine as she gets older because of her dealing with dyslexia. But it's good for her to realise those challenges now because then it won't be as scary as she gets older and she gets more and more scripts. When I get given a script, I go home and keep going over it until I get it in my head. But home for Celestine is slightly different. Along with a few other girls at school, she lives in a boarding house. There are a lot of talented people outside London, and so it helps people who don't live so close to have somewhere to stay, and that, so it saves them having to travel. I love staying at the boarding house because we're like a big family, and it's just lovely. It is literally like having a big sleepover every night, and it's brilliant. We sometimes play hide and seek. It may be fun, but living away from home means missing family. Three weeks, yeah. sometimes without, until I see my parents, sometimes three weeks. See, that's horrible. And my dog. It's like, we're all together. We all have to be there yeah. for each other. Yeah, yeah we, we all are there for each other. She may find scripts harder to learn because of her dyslexia, but at the boarding house, Celestine always has support. Ah. Read the other part, so oh, yes, please. Um, so I'm the wa one of the waitresses. I get someone from the boarding house to play like the other people, and it just helps me learn it quicker. What type of hot chocolate would you like? Which is handy, as Celestine is about to be given a challenge that will really test her acting ability. Oh. 
As you'd expect at a performing arts school, there's no shortage of lively students keen to make an impression. And Year 8's Tilly is one of the liveliest. Who lives in a pile of boards in the tree? Pineapple! Tilly's got a really massive personality. The most bubbly person you'll ever meet. She's the life and soul of Tilly. She's really loud. Sometimes I can actually hear her from a different room laughing. <laughs> But at this school, even the most energetic pupil can find themselves having an off day. I'm feeling so much pressure right now. Like, seriously, so much. I've got all my exams coming up, and it's just getting to me. She has exams in modern dance, tap, and ballet. And with having to learn all the routines, Tilly's really feeling the strain. Tilly, they ended up parallel. Your heels didn't go down. You started with your knees coming this way. Ooh, nasty. I just feel like they just put a lot on my plate, really, and they should have just spaced it out a little bit because it's gotten to the point that I'm crying and I never really cry. Having juggled life at school with roles in West End shows like Matilda and The Wizard of Oz, Jordan's the perfect friend for Tilly to confine in. I've got so much on my mind right now. <laughs> Some of the teachers just compare me to other people, people that have flipped, like, literally can get their legs up here and do back flippy thingies. <laughs> it makes you so tired as well. It's just the same as me with tap. You know how much I struggle with tap sometimes. Sounding off to her friend seems to have done the trick. Everyone has bad days. Just a bad day. You I'll carry you. You're a trouble maker. You're a trouble maker. Mm. Tilly isn't alone though. Max is also under pressure. His modern dance exam is coming up, and Miss Wilkins wants to see how much practice he's done. But Max really doesn't excel in dance. You can't watch, by the way. You've got to put your head down now. It's the rules. Oh no. Okay. Yay. So far, he's avoided showing her. Come on. But now she's pinned him down. Have you got something to show? Luke has been helping me. Good. Oh. I can't say that. Uh, wait, wait. Can we start again? Sorry. Miss Wilkins is not impressed. I don't want you to fail. No, I don't want to fail you. No, you will if you get rubbish like that. If Max is going to be ready for his exam, he needs help. A lot of it. Here we go. One, two, three. Smile. No, no, no. No. Ha, ha, thank you. Strong. Mm-hmm. Ha. Yeah. That bit. What is that? Something, you know. That could be cool you could. Probably could, actually. Miss Wilkins has her work cut out, but Max is starting to get better. It's been tough, but by working Max hard, Miss Wilkins has given him a fighting chance. Will he get through his exam? Uh, there's a fair way to go before I'm happy with his exam at the moment. It's still a bit touch and go, if you want the truth. Only I can make it better now, so I'm going to have to put in some work at the weekend and hope for the best. Like any school, exams are a massive part of life here, and not just in the usual subjects. Every performing art has an exam for pupils to work towards. Start feeling it. Start dancing. In your own time. An aspiring actor, Celestine, is about to face her biggest challenge yet. I've got my Lambda exam coming up. My partner, Sadie, me and her are learning it together and we just keep going through it. She was pretty sick there at the end. Sick and me. My line was on. Lambdas are external acting qualifications. What did Grandma because of her severe dyslexia, Celestine finds learning scripts difficult. She 
our piece we haven't really had for very long. It's been quite hard to learn it. Yeah. All right, all present and ready to go. Today, drama teacher Miss Everisto wants to see their pieces. Can we start with, please, um, Celestine and Sadie? The Queen of the Amazon may play with whatever she likes. The Queen of Amazon wears a slip on her head. You must obey my every commandment. Like thou shalt not slay thee, bossy little sister. Go back, thy not thee. Like thy. Like thou shalt not slay thy bossy little sister. Like thou not shalt not. Go back. <laughs> like thou shalt not slay thee, bossy little sister. No, thy bossy thy little bossy sister. Go back. Like thou shalt not slay thy bossy little sister. Um, Celestine, you're still very nervous. You've got to relax more, okay? You've got, you've got to get on this, okay? I can't learn the lines for you. You've got to get the pictures into your brain. Picture it, picture the room, picture the house, so that you don't forget what you're saying. If you can picture the room and everything that is in the room, then you'll remember what comes next. Okay. Okay? So you've really got to use your imagination. And she needs to get to grips with this technique, as in just a few days' time, Miss Everisto is holding mock landers. With Celestine, it is partly nerves. I mean, she has got the dyslexia. Not that that is a barrier, because it isn't. But what it does do with some pupils, it makes them feel less confident. So one of the things with me is to get Celestine to be more confident in herself. Miss Everisto was a bit annoyed that I forgot some of my words, but I'll try my hardest to, like, get it in my head. I'll make sure I'll go home tonight and I'll learn them. A new day at school and a big day for Tilly. It may be a Saturday, but it's the start of her exams, and this morning, it's tap. I've been working every single minute, so every single hour of the day, just working on it and trying to make it as best as I can possibly make it. Someone else who's been putting the hours in is Max. Quite nervous. Yeah, quite. Today, he has his modern dance exam. There's just enough time for both of them to do some last-minute practice. At the end, instead of just standing and posing, do something. My exam's in like ten minutes. I'm really scared. Because you do well. Don't worry about it. You're really good. You just need to think to yourself. I'm better than everyone else. But I don't know if you should think that. But you are really good. And like, it's you're lucky you can dance the way you do. Imagine them naked. <laughs> Can Tilly keep her cool, or will she crack under the pressure? The nerves have just kind of got me now. Like, just waiting here, and everything's just, like, ah! This is so scary. For Max, some last-minute advice from his personal dance coach, Luca. You can go to the end of the music. Doesn't matter if you get a step wrong, she won't know. She doesn't know. Well, she will if I pull her face. Well, don't. Oh, no. <laughs> don't, that's the thing. Don't put a face. Just make it look like it's right, and she won't know, really. Good luck. All right, well, cheers for that one. See you in a bit. Ten minutes after going in, Tilly's exam is done. And it doesn't look like it's gone too well. Miss Dearman, I didn't do as well as I could have. Because of my foot, like, literally, I did... This part, I literally stepped on it and it fell like a and I was literally... I felt like crying. Yeah, they weren't making out. Yeah. Well. I'll press this one, it's fine. No worries, no worries, I'm sure you're fine. When OK, I tried my best. Hopefully, she knows that I tried my hardest and gives me a good grade. The results won't be for a couple of weeks, so it's going to be an agonising wait for Tilly. But now, it's Max's turn. But I'm feeling quite nervous now. We're, um, they're actually outside the door. He's far from a natural dancer, and a few days ago, he didn't even have a routine. 
Will he be able to impress the examiner? All Luca can do is watch his friend perform and wait. In only a matter of minutes, the exam's over. Has Max done enough? How was it? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Get through a couple of bits went wrong. Not, not, um, not anything that much. Is it obvious? No. All the practice with Luca has definitely paid off. And um, all, the, all the nagging that Miss Wilkins has done has certainly paid off. So um, hopefully I should get an all right grade, maybe. <laughs> Turn up the music. I don't care. I love it. I don't care. I love it. At this school, the summer term is always the busiest. Every pupil not only has their singing, dancing, and stage exams to take, but they have all their academic exams as well. On top of that, they have the spectacular end of year show to prepare for. Grab your audience like that. But Karen's just about to break some news that's going to have everyone working even harder. You all know how important it is that we look after the trust that supports so many of you. The trust, sadly, is not a bottomless pit. I now need us to focus right up till the end of term about fundraising for our trust. The Conti Trust pays the fees for those pupils who win scholarships to the school. And as an ex-pupil of the school herself, it's something that is close to Karen's heart. I was funded as a child, and without that funding, I wouldn't have been able to achieve what I've done in the business. Without that trust, some of our pupils here at the moment would not be able to stay here. So hopefully, by raising awareness, we can do something about it. Every pupil is being asked to fundraise. To do their bit, the seniors are hitting the streets of London with a dance flash mob. Flash mobs are group events spontaneously performed in public, and it's up to senior student Cameron to choreograph the routine. Change, head drop, and change. Today's the first rehearsal for the flash mob. Disco classic. This is one of the only rehearsals we've got, though, so hopefully we can get it kind of through and finished. Hearing about the flash mob, Year 10 pupils Ella and Jade want to be a part of it. But first, they have to prove they can step up with the big boys and girls. Are you scared? Yeah, just a yeah. bit. Doing it with them might be a bit hard. But we'll just have to see what, how it goes. Okay, We're not used okay. to picking things up that quick. Nervous a little bit. I've never worked with any of the juniors before. It's a massive gap of ability and age. But hopefully they're switched on and ready to go and we can get in, get started. One, two. Three, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. Bang, head, position. Not my brain's not working. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keeping up with the seniors seven. is tough. They're all given a matter of minutes to learn the routine. One, two, three, then it's time four, for a complete four, 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 run through. Head, head. My brain is frying, but we'll be yeah, we'll be able to do it. We'll do it. For Ella and Jade, the pressure really is on. Hip hip. With the clock ticking, will Ella and Jade get the moves down? Dear darling, please excuse my Time's also running out for Celestine. I can stop my hands from shaking. Her mock lambda exam has arrived, and she still can't get that line right. What is it like now, shall not slay thy bossy. So it's thou thy. Thou thy. I always get them mixed. I always say like thy, thy now. Thy. Yeah. <laughs> it may be a mock exam, but the monks they get now will be a good reflection of what they'll get in the real exam. I will be playing. 
do you know? Oh dear. Never mind that tricky line. Celestine's even forgotten who she is. Do you want something to eat? What's on that chair? That is not a chair. That is a prisoner of war. Caught trying to assassinate her highness. You're gonna ruin Mum's good jacket. She never wears it. You're still not allowed to play with it. The Queen of the Amazon may play with whatever she likes. After a shaky start, Celestine's found her feet. But will she get her thy and thou the right way round? You must obey my every commandment. Like thy shalt not slay thy bossy little sister. Don't enrage the Queen or you will to be sorry. She said it wrong again. And now with the exam over, there's nothing more she can do but nervously wait for the results. Celestine, where are you? There you are, OK? Overall, that was much better than last week. Yeah? Much better than last week. Very good that you got that line right. I, got I didn't. Right. OK, well, I didn't notice. <laughs> so it's not <laughs> right. <laughs> It sounded right. She performed so well, Miss Everisto didn't notice her mistake. Result. I mean, today, what we did today, probably be a merit today. I probably could have done better. I hope I get the like thy shout, not slay thy bossy little sister. I always get that wrong, so I need to make sure I remember it. I just hope I get a distinction in the real thing. At the famed flash mob rehearsals, it's finally going well for Jade and Ella. But it turns out the two year 10 girls aren't the youngest dancers in the routine. Tom, go stand at the front. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just, yeah, but just go watch her. We'll watch her. Year 7 Tommy has been picked to be in the second part of the routine. I'm really excited. It looks really fun. And not only is he the youngest, but he has a lead role. I'm a bit nervous because if I get it wrong, it looks really embarrassing. Tommy. Yeah. You'll be in the front here. Okay. So Tommy will lead us. He kind of needs to go into a triangle. Okay. You'll go. One, two, three, and head. One, two, three, and head. Currently in the hit West End show Singing in the Rain, Tommy's used to the spotlight. But he still has to prove he has what it takes to dance with the older students. Step, two, three, step, two, three, round to here. Twist. Tommy's picking up the choreography step. well. Punch. That is step. until... In roll. Step. Fame. I would really like if everyone could fame jump there. I can't fame jump. Of course you can. He's just been given a move that he's never done before. I can't fame jump. Fame jump's like a split, a split jump. Um, everyone has to it really high. And then this means yeah. it's only getting it half the, half the height of there. He's right at the front, and there's no place to hide. Tommy just has to try and get it right. It's not a bad attempt, but when Tommy performs the routine in public, that jump has to be twice as high. I've got a lot of work to do because um, it's just a week away. It's quite hard to pick it up, let alone like perform it and everything. But I think I should, um, I should practice more. I don't know, it'll be fine. It's not all about the flash mob. Fundraising events are being set up all over the school, and Karen has a challenge for Tilly and her classmates. We're going to be working on a little medley all about the school. And we are going to be taking this in front of an audience. I need somebody who believes that they can start the whole thing off and get people to literally stop doing what they're doing and be able to turn and look. So if you think that's you, take a step forward. After what she thinks was a disastrous performance in her tap exam, Tilly wants to beat her nerves and show she has what it takes to sing the lead. She's not the only one, though, as Karen wants to hear them all sing solo.
When it comes to Tilly's turn... What's wrong, Tilly? What's wrong, Tilly? Those nerves are back. Relax, Tilly. Shake those hands. What's oh, that? Yeah. Uh, my hands are really shaking. Oh, yeah. Oh. Don't worry. It's fine. Just work. We'll work through it. All right, darling? How's it starting? Yeah, let's just get on with it's it. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. It's not how you go, it's how you Yes. Why am I so scared? I don't know. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. It's not how you go, it's how you land. Lovely, good girl. You really thought about those vowel sounds. It's a good recovery, but is it enough to get the part? OK, so my group of five that are here, stay where you are. It looks like Karen has picked all five girls for lead vocals. Tilly's gamble of putting herself forward has paid off. I was so nervous and I literally cried because I just haven't felt like I'm right for any part in song and move for a while. But actually getting it, it just made me feel so happy. Life is full of challenges and it's easy to let the nerves take hold. But if you face your fears head on, then any challenge will turn to success. Next time on School for Stars, Tilly bags an audition for a major TV role. I'll go up for the part of Peaches. She's the kind of gregarious, slightly naughty one. Nikki's ballet future hangs in the balance. That is not acceptable for ballet. Absolutely not. Go down now. And it's crunch time for Tommy. Will he pull off the fame jump? with CBBC. Welcome to Hacker Time! Oh, no, we're not doing that. The jokes aren't even funny. Where would you like to go? How about Ramsbottom? <laughs> Look, it's obvious from all these terrible jokes that your appendicitis has come back. And this time, it's catching. We're on the hunt for big game. You seen any? Yes, I've got this giant box of snakes and ladders here. He's getting worse! Would you ever consider being a guest on Hacker Time? Hacker Time? Never heard of it. Brand new Hacker Time starts Monday, the 27th of July on CBBC. <laughs> Marrying mum and dad is only moments away, but first, follow me this way, guys. Come on. Because we're going to have a look at some of your posts. Yes, my favourite part of the day. Tea time, can I do the honours? Go on, then. Oh, I love you. Release the shoot. Ray! Oh, okay. I love I'm gonna... that. Love it. Have you got a couple? Yeah, I'm going to get these oh, two I'm down here. Get... Oh, this one looks oh, nice. Oh, it's everywhere. No, I'm no. going gonna... to look at this picture here. It's been sent in by Misty. Great name, by the way, Misty. Uh, Misty's drawn all of us, really. I'm there. You're there, Karim, as well, wearing a blue suit. We've got John. Dodging Hacker, and what I really love about this one is there's loads of nice sunshines and even a rainbow. It's really brightened up my day. That looks it's, like a nice summer's day, it's isn't it? It's a lovely drawing. That thank you, Misty, thank for sending that in. Brilliant. Uh, this one, Katie, has been sent in by Chloe. This is a lovely drawing. We have the CBBC logo up there. Ooh. Very retro version of the CBBC logo. I like all the colours. We've got a few love hearts there, which is lovely. And look, we've got you, Katie, Karim, Hacker, Dodge, and I'm guessing that's Shannon. Or it could be Kel with his new hairdo. You never know. You never Sometimes know with Kel. Sometimes he sport the long look, doesn't he? I've got this picture here also sent in by Rachel. There's wow. a lot going on on this picture, Rachel. It's very imaginative. You are brilliant at drawing pictures. Apparently, Corinne, mm. we're at a meat paste and bin juice resort, but it says dogs only, but we are there. But yeah. it looks like we're working there. Is that you, Katie? It looks like I'm giving uh, Dave Lyon a bit of a massage a treatment, there. yeah, a bit you're of a facial. You're working in the shop. I'm in the shop. And Hacker and Dodge are jumping off that diving board into some bin juice rather than the me. Oh, 
So they're having fun and me and you are working. It looks like it. Yeah, it's like the dog's dream, isn't it? It is isn't their it? dream, isn't it? Thank you. It's Fantastic. a very good picture. Very Brilliant. Good Thank you. Uh, keep sending your pictures in. We absolutely love receiving them. And who knows? You